Hey guys, it's Max. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a while ago, I did a video called Things Only African People Understand. And for some reason, you guys absolutely loved this video. If you haven't seen the video, like what's wrong with you? But also, there's a card up on the screen that you can watch it. So I decided to do a follow-up to this video, but also like my voice. Can we just talk about that for a second? I sound like I smoke a pack a day promise I don't it's just like two o'clock in the morning so um your girl is struggling but anyway I decided to do a follow-up to that video which is called things only African children understand the first thing is that African children like we're just born for labor we are laborers but, like if you look prehistorically in history the more children you had like the more people to pick your crops to herd your cattle like I don't know I feel like that's all I'm good for like do you ever feel used in your own home like that's how I feel I just feel like a laborer like I wake up there's things to do there's cooking to be done dishes to be done like ain't no nigga gonna say good morning in an African home the first sentence is go do the dishes like yeah thanks I had great dreams how did you sleep I'm feeling great you know the second thing is that young African children are actually just like guinea pigs we're like the test pigs for all things European so you know our parents didn't grow up with all the things we've grown up with and most times they don't understand all the Western things we go through so you know like how they'll get a new food in the house like your mama went to Woolies and she got a new cheese and she's gonna be like Max come and try this is it nice before she tries it because she ain't finna die because of some Western cheese she gonna give it to the child first see what happens then make a decision number three as an african child we are just raised we are raised by hypocrites now i ain't trying to diss nobody's mama but african parents can they can you just explain this to me y'all preach laziness right you're like laziness is a sin in the bible god say he don't like lazy people that's why you train us to be freaking workers from the time we two years old nigga how you gonna tell me I'm lazy when you gonna call me from upstairs to bring you the remote that's right next to you? I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking because y'all said we shouldn't be lazy, but you, you know? Another thing all African children can understand is that Halloween is not a thing. It is like, what's a Halloween? Who's a Halloween? Where's a Halloween? Why is a Halloween? I don't know. Like, how you gonna explain to an African parent that like, there's a day where you just dress up as a demon okay like that's the first part of it y'all y'all dressing like demons and then you go in from door to door knock knock knocking behaving like your parents don't feed you at home asking for food just like, like just, just tell me how that's gonna make sense to any african parent now boom stay home stay home all my african children out there know when africa magic comes on like that thing it doesn't turn off africa magic we know it's like it's a day affair if someone turns on africa magic at three o'clock you might as well just say it's bedtime like just go sleep because you're not getting your vuzu amp you're not getting your e after it africa magic like doesn't end why does every nigerian movie have seven parts and each part is like seven hours like what's a girl gonna do I know I can relate to this specific one. We just end up giving ourselves other names that are not our names because no one can pronounce our names. Like our parents thought, okay, yeah, we're gonna bless this child with the longest name that is only full of consonants. Like, where are the vowels in your name? <laughs> they thought they were being cute. Like, oh girl, I'm gonna give you a name with meaning. My child's gonna be special. Actually, no, like all you signed me up for is a whole lifetime of correcting people and like never finding my name on a coke bottle so thanks the last major thing that i feel like african children can understand is the proceedings of a family gathering now you get two types of african children you get the good kid and the bad kid now if you're the good kid family gatherings like you live for them they are literally like press conferences for you this is your paparazzi moment this is your speech you like get your moment to shine everybody's asking you how did you do it girl how you so clever how you so cute how you got a good man you know if you're the good kid you are like halfway to a grammy like i'm, a, I'm a actually i'll literally like you stand there at like family gatherings and you're like 
Yes. Yes, I got distinctions. Yes, I go to church. No, I don't do boys. I, you're just, you know. But if you are not this kid, you are the second option. You're the bad kid. And if you are the bad kid, be sure any family gathering is just like your roast. Like, it won't even be things that are relevant. You'll be the dumb kid, but they'll be like, mm, she doesn't even do well at school because she likes crop tops. So this video is kind of turning into a Nigerian movie because it's going on for a little bit too long. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave me a comment. Like, I want to hear my African children, like, vent, guys. This is your platform. I'm here to listen to you and I'm here to just, like, hear your concerns about how you have been emotionally abused by Africa magic. Thanks for watching. Bye.